Hello everybody, welcome to All About Food. So today we are going to prepare for us a traditional South African pancake. So this is how it looks, the end result. There you go. All that delicious syrup, that the cinnamon sugar and the butter might just look at that. There you go. There you go. Doesn't it just look delicious? Please continue watching the video to see the recipe. Okay guys, so what we're going to need to make this traditional South African pancakes is the following. We're going to need, first of all, two cups of cake flour and five ml baking powder one ml salt and just first mix it all together with this we're going to add one and a half cups of water and one cup of full cream milk two eggs make sure you don't break in any shells clean up quickly and then lastly I've got my oil in this bottle of mine. You need two tablespoons of oil and just a dash of lemon juice. It's about a, a teaspoon. This you mix all together until it forms a nice Thin batter. Make sure that there's no lumps. You can see it's already starting, starting to smooth out nicely. There you go looks perfect this I pour into another container and this goes into the fridge for half an hour then afterwards I will show you how to make the pancake itself okay so while the batter is resting in the fridge i'm going to prepare the cinnamon sugar so what we need is about two cups of sugar with this you add it depends on how you like it but we like a lot of cinnamon we love using this robertson's so this you mix all together until it's totally combined and you put it aside until the batter is ready. Okay guys, so now the batter is ready. It has set for a while. So what I'm going to do now, I've got my pan, it's already hot. I've got it on a gas, a little gas stove here. Now you put in just a little bit of oil, not a lot only a little bit spread it around a bit so now you take your batter the pan is very hot in the middle you pour it in not a lot and you just spread it around like this there you go now you wait until you don't see any batter let me show you a close up any of this batter 
must be runny. There you go. Nice, started getting nice and golden brown. And then just wait for the other side. So while we're waiting for the other side to golden up a bit, I'm going to take some of this cinnamon sugar that I've prepared earlier on. I'm just going to sprinkle it on the bottom of a plate like this. So when you put this very hot pancake on top of On top of the sugar it's going to start let it slide onto the board onto the plate like this be careful it's very hot there you go let's prepare the next one not a lot of oil so you can hear the sizzle it's very hot it's very important that the pan must be very hot. So while we're waiting for this one, sprinkle it on top. Like this, with just a little bit of butter. This isn't the way other people maybe does it but we love putting a little bit of sugar or a lot of a lot of sugar and a little bit of butter when you put the next pancake just look how golden brown this one looks so with this you continue until the batter is finished and i will show you how the end results look okay so yeah i'm now busy with my last one hope it's going to fill the whole pan almost it looks like it's just just maybe going to make it there's a few holes but that doesn't matter there you go just close it up <laughs> so now we just have to wait for it to ready let me just quickly prepare this last or the previous one that i made always if you make pancake and you have to put on some cinnamon sugar everything will be full of cinnamon sugar always there's no you can try to not to be messy but there will always be cinnamon sugar everywhere so here's my last one Let's flip it there you go nice golden brown so when i'm finished with this one what i'm going to do just quickly have a clean up and i will show you how we dish this up please continue watching so after a very quick clean up let's put some sugar on this last one all over the sugar when it starts melting with the cinnamon and with the butter like i said the butter it's optional you don't have to use it but there's just something about this butter that you put on top that just makes it taste delicious there you go now you just cover it until all of those sugar and butter has melted as you can see it's big it's bigger than my hand so just leave this put it aside you can eat it warm you can put it in the um, oven drawer to just keep it 
it nice and warm and then you can enjoy it i will show you how i dish it up okay so there we have it our nice traditional south african made pancakes so what we do now i take a fork just poke it in and i roll it up like this look at that syrup that the butter had made and you just put it in to your little dish just want to add a little bit of a tear in it but you can work around it just look there you can hide it nicely roll it up and put it aside there you go a very lovely traditional south african pancakes this is how it looks delicious i hope you enjoyed guys please remember to like share and subscribe to our videos bye